स्वागत है आपका जी बिजनेस की खास पेशकश में मॉरिशस नाम भारत के लिए बिल्कुल भी नया नहीं है मॉरिशस से भारत की दोस्ती करीब साढ़े चार सौ पांच सौ साल पुरानी है करीब साढ़े चार सौ पांच सौ साल पहले शुगर प्रोडक्शन के लिए भारत के उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार और कोलकाता मुंबई से कई सारे लोग मॉरिशस शिफ्ट हो गए थे मॉरिशस उन चुनिंदा देशों में से जिसके साथ भारत की टैक्स ट्रिटी भी है हमने मॉरिशस को बॉलीवुड के गानों में देखा हुआ है इन्वेस्टमेंट में देखा हुआ है और कई बार मॉरिशस का नाम न्यूज में झलका हुआ है लेकिन आगे चल के इन दोनों देशों की नीति कैसे होने वाली है इन्वेस्टमेंट कैसे होने वाले है ये डिपेंड करता है कि दोनों आज क्या पॉलिसी अपनाते हैं और इसी पर अधिक जानकारी देने के लिए आज हमारे साथ है मॉरिशस बोर्ड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट के चेयरमैन मॉरिस लैम मॉरिस थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस वी हैव विजिटेड एंड इंडल्ज विद ब्लू ओशन ऑफ मॉरिशस इन द हिंदी फिल्म्स बट स्टिल वी वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द मेजर बिजनेसेस आर ओवर देयर एंड व्हाट इज योर जीडीपी ओके फर्स्ट लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द जीडीपी वाइल मॉरिशस लास्ट ईयर एक्सपेंस अ ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ 4.1% एंड वी आर लुकिंग एट अ ग्रोथ रेट दिस ईयर ऑफ बिटवीन 3.5 टू 4% In terms of the visitors from India, I would like to clarify a few things. You know, uh, we are trying to attract more and more visitors from India. The Bollywood people use to come and do uh, movies in Mauritius, and then they seem to have stopped. You know, uh, as they are not as often there. So you might want to know that Bollywood people might want to know that the government introduced a series of measures last year to. push certain industries uh, in terms of a uh, forefront in terms of development and uh, we have introduced a special measure for movie industry Mauritius government will reimburse 25% of allowable expenses if you shoot a movie in Mauritius so that should give encouragement to the people of Bollywood to come more often to Mauritius Wonderful. that's one thing in terms of new areas of development yeah. we are looking to develop what we call the services sector a uh, first the financial services sector which is already a big chunk of our economy we already have banks from india operating there the state bank of india and bank of baroda we are looking at uh, developing the healthcare sector already two of your hospitals are in mauritius apollo and fortis we are looking to become the education and training center of africa apart from tourism and film industry what do you think what are the major sectors where foreign investors can enter in mauritius and obtain good returns well already we have a people operating international brand hotels well if they are in mauritius that means they are making good money otherwise they would just say we are not going to be there no you one has to recognize that an investor come to mauritius to make money okay that's a basic thing and that's why we make sure that the environment in mauritius is conducive uh, for mauritius now in terms of the movie side in the past without any incentive bollywood has come to mauritius to make movies so now with that incentive you should have more reason to come to mauritius and i'm sure they can make money what i understand is till now you are promoting only tourism and bollywood businesses in mauritius but now you are promoting investments as well which can be in uh, different sectors what is intention behind it you know we are a small country and uh, given what's happening in the global environment you know particularly with the crisis in europe the slow growth in the us but the high growth in india and china we are saying you now how can we restructure our economy so that we can follow the shift of the center of gravity of economic development from europe to asia so we are looking to india particularly to come and uh, invest in the various sectors of the economy and we are making sure that our business environment is competitive from india you have uh, navies for example so you could come and uh, help mauritius to manage our what we call exclusive economic zone which is 1.9 million square kilometers that's a huge territory by any chance have you seen any you know slow down because of the global economic environment we had 4.1% growth rate last year and this year we're expecting a slower growth of course no given like we are a country that has that has been and still uh, dependent or still dependent on uh, uh, europe our main export market we are going to experience some sort of slow down in terms of our export to the eurozone but we hope that we'll be able to fill the gap by exporting more to india and exporting more to china if i ask about some you know uh, financial uh, calculations or financial you know mathematics what 
can you give us some figures on the FDI? How much is the FDI currently in Mauritius? Well, over the last five years, the total FDI no, on a cumulative basis a, is approximately was approximately 50 billion rupees. That's roughly seven between seven and eight billion Indian rupees, depending on the exchange rate. Well, this has happened because when the when the government in 2005 realized that the environment is changing, the global environment, Mauritius was faced with some external changes beyond its control. So the government decided that we need to bring the economic development of Mauritius on a new phase. And we open up the economy to the whole world. We welcome foreign direct investment. We welcome foreign talent. And to be able to do that, Mauritius has to offer a competitive environment. By that, I mean that you as an investor, when you start a business, you want to have the less administrative hassle as much as possible. For example, if you go and apply for a permit, you want it to be delivered very quickly. Okay. So what we did, we look at the whole process of starting a business in Mauritius, and we say, why do we need all these permits? And many times we saw that these permits were there for some what we call revenue raising activities. So we eliminated quite a lot of permits. So today, if you are either a Mauritian or an Indian investor and you want to start a business in Mauritius, you can register your company and operate within three days. We have what we call the silent agreement principle. So if you come to Mauritius, you've been employed by a company, the company submit application for your work permit and residence permit, and if you don't hear from government within three business days, then it's deemed approved. That is, you don't need to hear from us. It's, up, it's approved. When did you apply this theory, and how many um, licenses did you, you know, issue? Oh, well, yeah. well uh, since we did what we call the uh, economic reform, okay, I would say we must have had at least uh, maybe seven to eight thousand applications, and uh, of course, some of them have been rejected because no, you know, we, we do have to screen these people. So I would say conservatively, we have between six and 7,000 uh, what we call foreign talent in Mauritius. Mauritius sir, we will take a break with us with a small break. After your break, Mauritius sir, we will take a break with us with a small break with us with a small break. Uh, sir, we would like to understand how do you look at India sitting in Mauritius because a lot of foreign countries want to invest in India and China specifically nowadays. Uh, if you look at, uh, for example, uh, insurance companies, I mean there are 48 insurance companies in India, out of 48, more than 43 insurance companies have FDI of 26%. So, I mean, there is a lot of, you know, foreign companies are wanting to invest in India. So how do you look at India actually? Well, from a small country like Mauritius, looking at India, now, we say the world is changing, and in the future, not even in the future, but now, you know, there are two countries that are emerging as major economic powers. Of course, there's China, and then there's India. And we, from our standpoint, when we look at India, we say there are huge opportunities in terms of you know, investment opportunities. Uh, but in terms of scale, we have to be careful. Mostly being small, you know, when we come to India, we cannot aspire to conquer the entire market of India. So we try to find niches in your market. And that's where I think, you know, a, the two countries have been a, in discussion to have a comprehensive economic and partnership agreement where there will be access to the market, the domestic market of India. You might want to know that India is the second largest trading partner of Mauritius. We import a lot from your country. And that's normal now, because you do make goods here that are affordable, good quality, that the consumer of Mauritius needs. And also you export, you supply to us our petroleum products, for example. So that's how we look at it. We look at India as a major market for our products, for our tourism. But also we look at India that down the road, if our people could establish a foothold and do business here, that would strengthen the already st strong 
friendship relationship between our two countries thanks for your belief in india but still i would like to understand that looking at the fluctuation which is taking place in indian market specifically in inflation when the inflation is high or rupee is down you know how oh, all the scams are going down india is really in the news line or the headline of all the you know world's um, leading newspapers so mm. isn't it a worry for you well you know countries evolve uh, let's talk about the economic side first high inflation a uh, fluctuation of your domestic currency we have expensive in more so you know we have had high inflation the central bank has come down has come on and try to uh, bring down inflation by in increasing interest rate uh, the currency has fluctuated so any country in fact in this globalized world today no country can say that no we are independent of the world so a lot of factors influence inflation a lot of factors influence exchange rate sometimes beyond the control of countries you know let, for example take the case of the euro today you know big crisis there sometimes you see the euro down and then it's up you know so that should not be of a concern in fact it's not of a concern to uh, us people in mauritius now with regard to what you mentioned about you no know, scandal whatsoever this is a domestic issue for you 